Hi and welcome to Channel Fish. In today's lesson we are going to discuss the basics of topographic maps. So it's like an introduction. In the next video we are going to discuss the physical features that we typically see on these maps and also how to identify these physical features. But today we want to just lay a solid foundation before we move on. So let's get started. Let's take a close look at this topographic map. Firstly, what is a topographic map? It's a map that indicates or shows the shape of the land, uh, physical features such as mountains, hills, rivers, valleys. It could also indicate man-made features such as roads, railway lines and so on. But what we are going to focus on today are these contour lines. And as you can see, there are so many of them. And I remember the first time I saw a topographic map, I was confused. I didn't know what to make of it. But by the end of the session, I hope that everybody would be able to understand how to look at this map from a 3D perspective. So firstly, these contour lines, what are they? What is a contour line? So there we go. It's an imaginary line that connects places with the same height above sea level. So let's look at this line for example 550. Firstly it doesn't necessarily have a certain uh, unit of measurement unless they tell you what it is but if you look at this map and you just see these numbers it could be meters, kilometers, feet but we are going to assume that uh, we are working with meters and so if this line is 550 meters above sea level then it means you can go anywhere along this line and it's going to be at exactly the same height so as you can see I'm following the line and it doesn't matter where we are everywhere on the line is 550 meters above sea level so now we're going to move on to the function of a contour line and as we've seen in the the definition it shows us height above sea level but it also shows us the shape of the land and that's what we are going to learn today so there's the definition of its function now what many of you have noticed probably is that we have these thick darker lines and then the, the thin lighter colored lines and you might ask yourself why is that the case why don't all the lines look the same firstly these lines they are called index contour lines but you might ask yourself why don't they just simply put a number for each line and I think the answer is obvious and it's because if we had numbers all over the place it would be too busy and, and even confusing so that's why only certain lines these contour index lines uh, have numbers now you might want to ask yourself how do we then figure out the um, the height of these lines in between now this is quite simple but on, on certain maps it might be quite difficult but this is the the method you're going to follow so you are going to look at this number 600 and then count from there to 650 so there's one two three four five lines so you can now go I'm gonna just get the, the calculator so we have as we've seen we have five lines and the difference is 50 so if you say 650 minus 600 that's an easy calculation I'm not even gonna do it on the calculator that's 50 so the difference in height between this line and that line is 50 and we know there is five lines in between so we're gonna say 50 divided by 5 and it gives us 10 so the difference in height between this line and the next line is 10 meters and this is what we call the contour interval so let me just type it the contour sorry con to a interval and the contour interval is the difference in height between two consecutive lines let's move on to the next thing that that we see on this map and I see these spots there uh, those dots and these numbers and these are called spot heights and it's very simple it just gives you the exact height of the place right there of the location 
indicated by the dot and so please remember it's called a spot height then there's something that isn't indicated on this map and it's called a trig point or a trig station or triangulation station it depends where in the world you are it's also called a trigonometric beacon and the number 45 that you see there is simply the number of the trig station so it's trig station number 45 and the number below the triangle is the exact height above sea level and you will normally see it at the top of a hill you can click the link in the description below if you'd like to get more information on uh, this topic I'm just going to delete this because what I want you to imagine is these contour lines like I've said they are imaginary lines but I want you to imagine that somebody went and painted all those lines on this piece of land now obviously it's impossible or it's you know it's not something I would would like to do but let's imagine that someone has done it and what we are doing is we are flying in an in a in a helicopter and we are looking down upon these lines so this is basically what it is you are looking down at the earth and you see these lines from above but when we go to the next slide we see things from a different perspective obviously this is not the same piece of land this is a completely different um, piece of land it's a model it's a 3d model and it, it's just there to give you an idea of what things look like when you look at it from a different angle one thing you need to remember is that it would take some practice for you to get used to topographic maps if you are doing this for the first time it won't be so easy to interpret what you see on these maps so just keep practicing and then if you have any questions please type it down in the comment section below also feel free to subscribe see you next time goodbye